Now, it's not known if either of these homes had smoke detectors. There are several types out on the market, including one directed at saving the lives of children and young adults. Children and, and, and young adults, teenagers, they just don't wake up uh, the normal buzz or, or beep beep from a smoke alarm. They found they're more likely to wake up if, if it's a voice type alarm, uh, preferably from some, somebody they know. Fire, fire, get out of the building. Fire, fire, get out of the building. The vocal capable smoke detectors are the latest detectors on the market. They may be a little harder to find and cost a little more money, but... Basically, that, that is the solution to the fire fatality problem in single-family homes. The smoke detectors more commonly found in Hawaii vary in price, and industry specialists say paying a little more is better. Ionization detectors react to small particles in fast-burning fires. But photoelectric detectors are seen as providing better protection for homes. The photoelectric smoke detectors, which tend to be a little more expensive, uh, are more effective at sensing large smoke particles, which are the kind of particles that develop when you have, say, a cigarette smoldering. The two shown here, the ionization detector, cost $5, the photoelectric, $15. Now, Danaway, who is with the Hawaii chapter of the Society of Fire Protection Engineers, says installing fire sprinklers in homes, which can be costly, would also save lives and property.